I just want everybody watching to know he has 13 kids. <laughs> so, <laughs> so keep that in mind. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> Oh, here it is, and we're going, and we're fading in. Hey, welcome to the What's Your Nest podcast. I'm Spen Spenny, joined by Alexander the Great, and we have a guess today. Trump boys. Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I want to introduce you guys. This is this is my guy, you know. I've had to defend this man when he didn't even know I had to defend this man on multiple occasions where people have come to me like, hey, what's up with your mans? I'm like, don't worry about it, man. That's my mans, you know? And, uh... Today we're doing a, a a very unique topic, but I feel like it appeals to him. So we got my guy Rod on here. My guy Roderick, you know, the one and only Mr. Anderson, as they call him, you know. <laughs> so, Spitty, let's get this Mr. shit going. Mr. Anderson. So what's our nest today? What's our nest? Our, what's our nest has a lot to do with our guests. The nest and the guests always match up on what's your nest. And today... Our nest is recklessness. <laughs> you say so. Why? Wait. Why is that lined up with our guest? Oh, our, our guest. Our guest is a, is a gentleman at heart. Yeah. So let's pull up the definition. <laughs> okay, the definition. <laughs> definition of recklessness. Okay, it says a lack uh, of regard for the danger or consequences of one's actions. Rashness. To fire a loaded shotgun was an act of utmost recklessness. We sure that this recklessness? I feel like this is blindness because I can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you want me to zoom it in? Sheesh. Yes, please. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. We hey, you living in. reckless if you can't see, bro. You need to get some contacts, some 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 glasses. Listen, <laughs> I can see shapes and sizes. That's all I need to see. I don't too much need to see the words on the stop sign. You know it's big and red in the octagon. Is it an octagon? Yeah, it's eight sides to it. It's eight sides on a, on a stop sign. Look this up. Hold on. We, look it up right now. One, I, I, two, th- I thought it was like two. I thought it was like three, six. Four. Yeah, wait. I thought it was a hexagon. Was it? No, it is hexagon octagon, or five. It's it? like yeah. five or six. It Hold ain't on. eight. It's definitely not an octagon. Hold on. So, yeah, yeah, bro. We about to just prove you. God, that's that octagon. reckless shit we talking about. Red, oh, you, he got it. Red octagon. Who taught oh. you octagon? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I learned that from Chris. I thought I learned that from Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Yeah, he said. He was like, the slaves, there was a hard time. You knew how to read, but you couldn't show them that you knew how to read. Mm-hmm. You either had to choose to get into an accident, you was going to get your ass whooped either way. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, who? why didn't you stop back there, nigga? He <laughs> said, oh, you talk about the big red hex, I mean, octagon? He <laughs> said, who taught you octagon, nigga? <laughs> I was like, oh shit, it's an octagon there. That's all I need to know. Okay, yeah. Good job, Rod. Rod taught me something. I thought it was like a hexagon or something like that. I wish yeah. it was a hexagon. I, shit, I hate, I like being wrong sometimes. <laughs> hey, man, that's that life. So, so, let's get this going. Since we're here and you're here, I'll ask you first. When's the last time you did something reckless? <laughs> when I got married. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know. It. You say, you say, you say, getting married was the last reckless thing you did. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I did not know this woman. I'm saying so. So you say getting married was the last reckless thing you did. Like, did you did did, did you know her for years? Is, no. is, is it a double bag? No. Nope. Was it a well? Hold on. Have you ever heard the term moonwalk? No. What's moonwalking? Okay, so you was just with, with the guy that, that that we created this with, my guy Artie. Yeah. A moonwalk is a chick that you that you fucked a long time ago. Yeah, that nigga moonwalks on everything though. It's a, why you think he, me and him did it? <laughs> that nigga's Michael Jackson. I ain't even gonna lie to yeah, you. Yeah, bro, moonwalk. Yeah, we was just on the phone with him, and he double, was talking about moonwalking. That boy will double back on something he hit when we was twelve. I'm like, God, boy. Hey man, that's that's Mr. Moonwalk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Moonwalk. We about to change the nickname to Artie. That's moonwalk right there. <laughs> So, so Spinny, when's the last time you did something reckless? Uh, well, I, I let someone. I, I was wearing. I wasn't wearing like the proper safety equipment when I was letting someone ride me while I was wearing a chindo. Um, <laughs> How'd you like it? 
It, it was good. It was that just was little, amazing. It was it was a little dangerous. Yeah, I yeah. The, the the chindo is why females like try to destroy my things. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean it's. I had a girl chop one up. I had to go buy a new one. Bought one for the wife, and then the wife was like, "I'm not letting you use this on nobody else." Wow. Yeah, so I can't. I can't yeah. You know what I'm saying? I gotta and buy it, a new one every every new partner. Every, you should. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, heard, I heard the studs boil them. Wow. You know. You know. I. I oh shit. I have I have a, a sibling, a part of that community, and that's something I I learned from yeah. from her. So yeah. You know, I got a baby mama in that community. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like that. It'd be like that. Um, let me think. When's the last time I did something reckless? I don't know. I don't do anything reckless. Uh huh. I believe. Even yes. though you lying, flaws in the hill. <laughs> what? What? You when have you ever seen hill. me do something reckless? I haven't seen it. Don't mean it never happens. Exactly. So it doesn't exist. Next. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how I feel. This topic is going to be really weird for me because all the reckless stories I have are like not things I want to share on the internet. Besides the Chindo stuff. I'll talk, I'll talk well, about the Chindo Well, I days. think you have more Chindo things for sure. You know, yeah. you're not the only person that asked me about the Chindo? Yeah. It's a whole bunch of married people in my inbox asking like, oh, one dude was like, he was making fun of it, right? He made so much fun of it. His girl <laughs> caught wind of it was like, we're going to try that. He was like, he was like, bro, I know I made fun of you, bro, but you know what I'm saying? The wife asked me, uh, <laughs> where'd, you get, it where'd you get that from, bro? Yeah. He was like, I know I was calling you crazy, but with the wife, he said, happy wife, happy life. I was like, you ain't never heard of happy spouse, happy, happy house? Ha- Man, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, I, I didn't even make funny. I went direct to. I was yeah, like, he's like, oh man, that looks like fun. Get that thing, yeah. bro. Yeah, uh, I wish when I first posted it, I knew where to get them like wholesale. I would have start. I would have made a bro, killing. You would have yeah. slapped I niggas, bro. Bro, you would have you you would have you would have smashed. It's them. so many gangster thug, whatever you want to call them, pimps yeah. and all that hidden. And where you get it, bro? <laughs> I, I, uh, my lady seen it and da 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 da. They had some of the girls up in my inbox saying, "Uh, <laughs> how how do I get you to do that with me?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And for those who don't know, if you, if you're just tuning into the podcast, go, no, no, s- yeah, reference them to the episode so yeah. they can see it. Yeah, go to the horniness episode. We oh, that was the, about me. No, no, it was about you. But oh, but yeah, if y'all yeah. don't know what we're talking about. You know, go to the horniness episode and you'll see exactly what we're talking about. It's probably going to be referenced a lot because this guy right here is the first person we ever knew to have it. So, yeah. so he, he's but I'm the, not the he's, first person that, that I knew that had it. I got <laughs> it from a married man. Oh, for real? Yeah. I oh, asked shit. him. He, he posted it. He showed me. He was like, bro, I was going to post this, but I didn't want to because I, I was scared about how people would feel about it. He was yeah. like, he was like, when you tell the wife, that when the wife is out on a girl's night and you tell her that you want to try something freaky when she get home, he said, and then the next picture was like, now it's 7 a.m. and you just sitting here with a dick on your chin. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I said, bro, I'm about to send that to my girl. Mm-hmm. As soon as I sent it to her, she was like, buy it. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw that. I mean, you posted it on your fucking Facebook. You were like, I'm taking appointments or something. Yeah, you say? <laughs> I, was so, I was like, that's like the fucking dopest shit I've ever seen. I got banned off Twitter the first time I posted it. <laughs> off Twitter? Bro, there's people there's people bro bro Twitter? Time, How do you get banned time, on Twitter? The first time somebody I posted it, the girl uh that I posted it for, she said, Oh, this is a big body beans, bitch, please don't crash. And I was like, Oh, uh, I like heavyweights and then I told I showed the pit chindo and they were like Oh, this is just like showing your dick. I said it's not my dick. What? Isn't that, oh it's my nothing dick. like showing your dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not Absolutely my dick. Nothing. Though. You know what I'm saying? I, Pass me. Then when I tell people, uh, when I tell people that, uh, that I'm like, hey, you know, it takes all the, you know, saying your girl wanting a threesome out of the equation. You know, she gets penetrated and licked on at the same time. Yeah, exactly. It covers all the bases. The, what I've noticed with doing it is you always want to have, you want to bring uh, some bleach, a hacksaw, 
uh, some garbage bags, just in case things go wrong, you break your neck or something, you want your girl to be able to, you know, yeah. not catch a, a murder charge or something, so. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But, okay, yeah, okay, okay. So, so we're talking about a lot of a uh, lot of do chins and chin dos. Yeah, sorry, I'm getting off topic. Here. I, oh, sorry. I, 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 I mean, want, that's <laughs> reckless, though. Yeah, this, no, 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 no. Right. Now we're about to get deep into the like elbow deep okay. into this recklessness. Let's go. Okay, Whoa. let's go. What's the most reckless thing you've ever done? The most reckless thing I've ever done. Yeah, yeah. Spinny, you, you marinate on that too, buddy. God, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> but well, I, might. I don't want to talk about mine. Either. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is, well, well, go a nice day. I mean, it's just it... recently, though. So, I mean, so. It, well, it don't matter, bro. If it's recent, bro. T- bro, this is the What's Your Next podcast. Don't put them on blast. And that's no, it don't put podcast. nobody yeah. on blast because we don't use names. Okay. It's a no snitch podcast. So, you just you talk about a situation, a scenario that happened in your past. And your past is. That was see we, when I said past, that was your past. So everything behind you is your past. I think the most reckless thing I've ever did was. Oh, I don't know. Everything I do is pretty reckless though. <laughs> everything, like everything is. I don't think I don't I can't put a put a what's the most reckless and some of that stuff can't hit the internet because they don't know exactly who I'm talking about. Hey man, fuck them. That man is wild. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. He said he, not, he does nothing reckless. Yeah, yeah. No, you're. You, yeah, you've never done anything reckless. Um, what's the most reckless thing I've ever done? No, the time you did, the last time you did something reckless. What I you don't mean? care if it was 1988 when you were like right after you were born. The last time I did something reckless. Yes. Um, we got to backtrack on that question because you tried to skip that. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't hopscotch. Come on. Oh, all right, all right. You my guy, so I, I'm gonna answer you. Okay, what's the last time I did something reckless? Got us over here being vulnerable, but he ain't trying to. Do it. <laughs> he ain't trying to yeah, for real. Um, the last time I did something reckless is is um probably knock something, kn- slid in something. You feel me? Uh, uncooked, and I knew it wasn't on. The control of birth, that was that was probably the last thing that I did reckless. Uncooked. Yeah. I've never heard that. You gotta go do tell. What uncooked? Raw. Oh, you went raw. Yeah, and I, and I, yeah. and uh, and I was probably sure that the individual wasn't on the control of birth. I, I, that 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 was that's that was pretty reckless of me. Hey. And, and and I don't want a child by that individual either. Okay. Uh, that was right, that was that. yeah. That was that was that. that was one of my last reckless. Okay, antics. the most reckless thing I've ever done. Talk to me. Damn, I didn't know why. I mean, I can't say going raw because raw is life. Yeah, I know. You got thirteen kids. No, <laughs> <laughs> three and a possible. <laughs> this motherfucker playing space with his cock. Hey, hey, my <laughs> How boy, you playing space with your dick, my though? My boy Leon, the great D nine said. The Bible says, trust God, not man. And condom is putting too much trust in the man right there. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> okay, j- j- just so everybody understands, this is why we brought him on for the Recklessness Podcast. This is my guy. And for everybody who doesn't understand, this is my guy. Like like I said, and, and, and I-, I just want to make something clear, because like I said, a couple people have come to me like, what's up with your mans? And I'm like, bro, that's my guy. And, and the reason I want to tell people why Rod is always going to be my guy, because I know if if I ever got into a situation. I'm on my way. And me and Rod are back to back. Rod, Rod got me. Okay. And like I said, regardless of his antics that he does on the interwebs. That's because it's fun. In, in the medias of social. I, I don't care about none of that because I know as a man, Rod, Rod is a man. And like I said, if, if me and Rod is ever in a situation, I know he ain't going to bitch up or, or fucking leave me hanging. And I know that for a fact. I believe that in my heart. So I understand he's not your typical person. He's still my guy. He's still my guy. Uh, Rain, sleet, snow. That's my guy. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm just not. <laughs> the internet is fun, especially when you yeah. start seeing stuff. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Some stuff is some stuff. It gets kind of real because you want to get it out and and want an outlet. Yeah, you know, because you know black people don't believe in talking to the lady, but I'm about to. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, we, I think, like I said, while we're on this, this recklessness episode, uh, we want to push some positivity also. Yeah. And some of the positivity we want to push is that everybody should, should, should indulge in therapy. We think therapy is healthy, healthy for all people, you know. And excuse me, I've been drinking a little bit today because it's... Uh, 420 or well no it's, well, we it's drinking 420 day 420 is it's weed day. day no yeah, you know. drinking day too no 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 I'm just drinking today oh I thought that was every day <laughs> oh, these okay. people don't know me like that what's yet. the most reckless thing you've ever done the most reckless thing I've ever done ever done ever done yeah mm, what's the most reckless thing first okay go Cause, cause I've said this all the time what most thing I've ever did I had sex with a girl that shitted on me and it wasn't on purpose that she shitted on me. So you you were. Performing. I kept pumping. Yes, absolutely. No. <laughs> <That's> oh. Not, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa. That's not what I was going to ask. Oh. You. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> whoa. We gotta relax. Everybody relax. Okay. Everybody relax. <laughs> she took a dump. Yes. Okay. I was going to ask you, were you performing anal? That's no, no, sodomizing no, no. It her. It wasn't. Everybody thinks it's anal. Yeah. I was just hitting it from the back, blaming some shit, right? Blaming, and she, blaming. And I started yes. smelling something kind of funky. I was like, you took a shower? Are you sure? She's like, yeah. Ooh, ooh. So I'm like, so I, I'm like, something not right, bro. So, can so you I, not I, see? I, I, well, the we already... is off. Because, you know, women be oh, the oh, lights I, off. I'm secu- insecure about my body type of stuff. Oh, she got you one of those. Yeah. I bet you got me one of those before yeah. too. And then she, she like, she. I guess she had the runs or something. She shit it. So it and I was like, "Bro, you shit it on me." She was like, "Are you sure it wasn't you?" I was like, "Bro, it's." A- <laughs> and I commenced to go hit it. Like, that was wild. Are you sure it wasn't you? <laughs> is the craziest are shit you, I've ever heard in my sure life. It wasn't you? I, I'm, I, I'm hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm hitting it from the back. Uh, yeah. Blaming some shit as as as, as our brother so body poetically slamming. body slamming, blaming you from WWE style, smashing this shit from the back. I smell a whiff of uh, defecation. Yeah, and then I I I, uh, I thought she just farted. I let I, I let the young lady know that um something something defecated is in my nostrils, and when I let her know that that a defecation whiff was in my nostrils, she then inquired about me defecating that is the wildest shit i've ever heard in my life with shit running down my stomach and off my balls jesus christ <laughs> now do you think she did it on purpose is it like a kink I, thing I, I don't know but i i finished the job i, finished. I, had, to, <laughs> I had to see it through my boy <laughs> oh my god i had to see it through how much boy. longer did you have like how how far into it were you i don't know i, I uh, we was in there for like quite a minute. So after like fifteen minutes, we was like, I was like, yeah, I didn't came too long for me to stop right here and then go take a shower. <laughs> then you're gonna want me to keep going. Like, no, I just seen it finished. It probably, I don't know. It took longer because I kept like I was fighting the softness yeah. from the smell. Like, oh my god! Come on. Oh Jesus Christ, <laughs> bro! It was terrible. <laughs> I it was it. terrible. It sounds terrible. I, Did, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a follow-up question. And I thought I seen chunks in it. No, no. Shh, <laughs> I don't care about that. I have a follow-up question. I have a follow-up question, and this is a real question, and this is a question that, that a player is going to ask you. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Did you ever fuck her again? No. I respect you. Okay. Yeah. Spinny, what's the most reckless thing you ever did? <laughs> most reckless thing I ever did? I mean, yeah, I've never had any poopy sex. Okay. Um, <laughs> thank, thankfully, I, I dodged that one. You got pussy behind you? I do have, I do, a, I, yeah, look at that. Got, she wants to say something. No, but uh, I mean, just off the top of my head, uh, yeah. there was one time I almost got uh, like plastered to the front of an ambulance because I freaking. I was drunk in uh, at UC Davis. It was this thing called Picnic Day where they just, like, everyone's just fucking drinking. Like, frat bros are out there just doing beer pong and fucking chugging. And I was, like, walking or stumbling across the street, and I turn, and there's just this ambulance, like, coming towards me at full speed, like, sirens on. Like, and I just, like, and, like, just slipped out of the way. 
because I was just hella drunk. I just like stumbled into the street, like not not looking both ways before crossing. So yeah, that yeah, was pretty yeah. reckless. And yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. People, people, drunk driving is not cool. We do not condone drunk driving. We understand at times, but we have we have these these apps now. We have Lyft. We have Uber. Yeah. We don't condone drunk driving. And like I said, I've been I've been there before. I've been driving back from a uh, event my people's had like in fucking Sac or something like yeah. Vacaville or some shit. Oh no, and, I was and, walking. I was saying. I, I oh, was, you was walk. I thought you were driving. No, no, no. I was walking. You were drunk I, walking. I stumbled. I was drunk walking. Yeah, <laughs> but no, I just like didn't look both ways and like stumbled into the middle of the street. Hella stupid. And I like and then all these frat bros were like applauding me after I like hopped out of the way because they saw me like an inch from death. Oh, uh, because, yeah. because you jumped back. You, I, you, your drunken reflexes imp- impressed them. Yeah. Yeah. So that was pretty reckless. I mean, I, it wasn't like intentional, though. I OK. Know, OK. But, well, 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 in that moment, that that, that draws me to an, an, another question. Do you think, Spinny, right now, mm-hmm. ask me, answer this for me. Mm-hmm. Is it ever a good time to be reckless? Like, do you think it's ever good to be reckless? Is yes. recklessness ever good? Yeah, I think so. It, d- it depends on the, you know, you got to take risks in life, right? True, true. Yeah. I, I didn't think about it like that. I didn't think about it like that. That's real. Your risk, so, your risk uh, de- I mean, shape who you are in life. You know what I'm saying? That, that is true. That is true. So, Spinny, you say, you say yes? Yeah, yeah, I think, you know, in certain times it can okay, be. Okay, okay. Rod, do you think it's ever good to be reckless? Well, yeah. like you kind of answered it, but but absolutely. G- give us a little bit more behind why you say yes. I just feel like how can you know whatever would be if you never take that chance? Now mm-hmm. you now you're the guy that now you're the what if guy rather than the I done guy. You mm-hmm. know, you rather be the guy who's had experiences Rather than to say, oh, I almost did, almost doesn't count, my guy. Never. Brandy taught us that. <laughs> yeah, Brandy taught us that. Um, I, on a personal level, you guys kind of convinced me that it is, mm-hmm. <laughs> but but I'm gonna stick to my original answer, and I'm gonna say no. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say I think I think you should never do things recklessly, like because because I try to be so methodical and thought through with shit, and maybe that's just like a me thing. You know, and like I said, I'm not always methodical and thought through, but I try to be. So like being reckless gives me fucking anxiety. Yeah. You know, like even though I do reckless shit, <laughs> like I do, do, I do do reckless shit sometimes, but the shit gives me anxiety. So I don't never see it as like a positive thing or, or you know, like it's just it, it it's just like I don't give a fuck right now. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck right now. Fuck it. Yeah, so and I do it. <laughs> so being someone who's methodical, I'm gonna go down here. Have, have there been situations that have caused you to be more reckless than you normally would? Fuck yeah! No, no, no. It, yes. It, it, yeah. It, 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 Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. in those situations, I think you have to be a little bit reckless because you you, you might be in an environment that's, that's unnatural to you, mm-hmm. and you 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 may need to defend yourself. Yeah. And you may need to do some reckless shit so motherfuckers know, don't play with you in that moment. Yeah. You know? So it, sometimes recklessness can save your life. I, I will I will agree to that. Like, you, if a motherfucker trying you, you kick a motherfucker uh, front window in, a uh, uh, windshield in, let them know you ain't to be played with. Uh-huh. Like, that was some reckless shit, but, you, hey, don't play with me. You kick somebody's windshield in? I've... So, like I said, <laughs> Rod, <laughs> Rod. Oh, you see him hopscotch, yeah? <laughs> hey, Rod, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, do you think that? What do you think about that that we I said, think, Rod? I think that uh, in when it comes to um, matters of the heart, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. We might have all the knowledge mm. in the game, and mm. as soon as we start loving somebody, mm. it's like... You said the heart. It's like, mm. ah, I know this is wrong, and I know it's going to bite me, but... Let me try it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like Stunts was saying, I kind of was reckless in uh, bringing someone to the bat cave, as he calls it, mm-hmm. because, uh, well, we c- couldn't go anywhere else. And uh, I thought you said she owned property. Yeah, like fucking three hours away from here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you want it quick in a, hur- in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. And then uh turned out to not be, you know, I kind of recklessly put more trust into someone, and... Uh, now I'm a little uncomfortable and a little nervous. Yeah, but now we have security cameras. Now we have security cameras, so when she <laughs> kills me, it'll be on video. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> you got to you got to broadcast was, that was shit. Was the coochie good? Yeah, no comment. Yeah, but no comment. I don't, I don't, you I don't, wore a condom, didn't you? Occasionally, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I hate when people when you wear a condom and they be like, "Oh, was the pussy good?" Be like, "Nah, I could have had a hand job." You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I, I just want everybody watching to know he has thirteen kids. So, <laughs> so keep that in mind. Allegedly. <laughs> Yeah, it's Hey, you always want to practice safe sex, you know, jerk off with a condom on. But you know, you practice safe sex. But when it comes to the real thing, you can, you should live recklessly and, hey, and dangerously. I, use, I, I raw thing the toy, and I what? it. You what? 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 Wait, what kind I mean, of toy? What are you what are we talking like about? It was like this jelly thing called a mood. I posted it on Facebook. I don't know. I didn't see it. <laughs> it, was like, you, it's is, a is it is it like a is it is it like a um a, what you call it? What's that shit called? I don't know, but um, it's like uh, jelly. A flashlight? Flashlight. No, is it like it's not flashlight? like that. It's like, it's kind of like, uh, it's not rubber. It's like silicone. Mm-hmm. And it got these little grooves inside of it. But boy, I ain't never using my hand ever again. Bruh, I so don't know, what's bro. it called and how much does it cost? And where do you get it? <laughs> I don't know, but it felt great. I got, I, I, I got it. My wife brought it to me. Oh, look at that. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Man, whatever. All, all I know is I bust one fat. I was like, "Good God!" You know how you get the <laughs> so 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 so, so so hold on hold on. What was was it was it better than pussy? No, it was close to it though. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's that's all you need, really. Put some olive oil in that thing. <laughs> he said olive oil. I near, <laughs> bro, I just bro, I'm dropping shit. For I dare, I damn near took that thing on a dinner date. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, okay. I call. I woke up this morning looking at candles on Amazon. <laughs> oh, you, you about to be romantic with it? <laughs> I call her Linda. <laughs> Does she listen? Okay, okay. So, um, I have an, I have another question. You, you sparked another thought in my brain. Uh. Has somebody else's recklessness ever affected your life negatively? Oh yeah. Okay. What well, well, I'm saying. Speak to it. What? 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 Do you, how? In what way? Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> 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 all right. I, all right. Go first. So, um, damn. This is a scenario right here. Fuck it. I, I'll tell this story. Tell the story. Oh my god. This, this is a lame ass story. But okay, so I was talking to this chick, right? And uh, we were supposed to go to Vegas for my birthday. And I just didn't like the way she was moving around us supposed to be doing something for my birthday. So I invited my baby mama and I took my baby mama. (laughs) So I took my baby mama to go do the thing because she was, like I said, I didn't like the way she was moving. And then um, when I got back, my dad's girlfriend knew her auntie. So my dad's girlfriend at the time went and told her auntie that I went to Vegas with my baby mama and she came and broke my fucking rent, my my window on my rental car. Damn. Yeah. That was uh so that was like her recklessness. Yeah, it, it negatively affected my life, but um mm-hmm. I'm a responsible adult, so suck a dick. I had insurance, who cares? I took it back to them and that's the fucking hurts problem. Huh, <laughs> suck it. But it, it that was the first and only time that somebody like a woman came in and, and destroyed some of my property because I, mean, I, don't, I don't condone or allow that type of shit. Like, yeah, <laughs> let me, I'm gonna stop my statement there. Go ahead, Rob. Most I had was women throwing my clothes out <laughs> <laughs> and Never shitting on you. <laughs> no, that didn't affect my life er, uh, negatively. I, I was just like, <laughs> he still got his nut. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, I got my nut, and it was ple- ple- pretty pleasant. I just never could go do that again. Because yeah. I didn't... It's like... She R. kelly me, bro. I would, say, I would say that. You didn't tell me that this was the part of the deal. You just did it. It's like, damn, if you knew you had the Bruh, problem, The only thing I have to say about that situation is... It's hard to... Well, I guess... I don't know. I've never been penetrated, but... I feel like it's hard to shit on yourself. Like, you got to push that a little bit. So, I feel like she felt it, and then she released it on you, upon yeah. you. Yeah. Like She probably thought she was farting. 
Bro, who? What it's type a lot of, of women that fart while you fucking them. Bro, I've, yeah, yeah. I've never yeah, smelt it. I've never smelt it. So I, 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 my women smell like strawberries and, and and flowers. Hey. And I don't don't ever when say you, that about the I'm women in, that I have intercourse with. When I'm in there wrecking some shit, women lose control of their bodies. So I don't know. Man, women lose control of their bodies when I'm fucking with them. But shit. nigga, like I said, it's it's other fluids. It's not it's oh. not solid fluids. It, be all, it, it wasn't solid. It was wet as hell. Bro, she diarrhea. Yes, diarrhea? bro. Yeah, okay, okay, bro, Spencer, bro, negatively, it had recklessness. some trunks in it. Bro, sh- <laughs> we're talking. <laughs> Spencer's talking now. Oh, my bad. Spencer's talking now. Spencer, fucking uh, the questions. Oh yeah, I got traumatized by uh, hearing about people getting <laughs> shat on during sex. Um, <laughs> that negatively affected me. No, um, you know it's hard to say. I mean, I've definitely. Uh, uh, yeah, I've, I've had situations where, uh, you know, like you get uh, pulled over or we're like walking and we get stopped and like one dude in the crew just starts fucking mouthing off and then we all get fucking searched and, and, and shit. That's happened a couple times. and A couple times? A couple times. One of the Brazilian, oh the Brazilians, God. one of the Brazilians was involved right. in one of those situations. Actually. You, we of we talking about the mouthy Brazilian? We're talking, of course. Of course. I'm Am I being course. detained right now? Are we being detained? Are we being detained? Oh my God. Yeah. That sounds like him already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and bro, it was. I mean, we thankfully, you know, nothing went too crazy. But Spin. yeah, and then yeah, people like being in cars with people that had shit, and then like, oh yeah, no, it's not mine. And like, I don't know. It's just there's. It's always like, I don't know. I'm I'm very uh, p- particular about okay, like okay, okay. gotta make sure nothing's in my car. All right, all right <laughs> you know Spinny, I mean? Spinny, you sound like a. You sound or like people a, shut the fuck up, <laughs> Spinny. You sound like a pussy right now. So I'm gonna ask you. People a good need to shut the I, fuck up. No, no, people, no, no. People fuck, speak recklessly. No, people, fuck the shit up. Speak fuck our guests. Get you yeah, can't talk. Something. Say something. You can't talk. Okay, no, you can say. Is, you can say something. No, don't listen to Spinny. This is my podcast. No, 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 no. Don't listen to Spinny. No, you shut up. No, no, you're being you're being reckless. You're being reckless. No, no, he can't talk. You're being you're being reckless right now. Okay, it's on the police thing. All right, you can talk now. It's on the police thing. Yeah. All right. I do not like, like, it's totally reckless to know that you have a four-way search clause on your name. Uh And then the guy that you're riding with, you bring somebody with you that has guns. Yeah. So, Wow. Wow. Right? That's different. And you don't tell the person who's driving that Mm. the person that got a gun is with you and you have a four-way search clause. So now all of us are sitting on the ground not talking because we're not trying to go to jail. Yeah. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. So, um, so you didn't you didn't pop up and go? Am I being detained? Am I being detained? Am I? Being... No, I'm black, man. <laughs> yeah. No. Do that. No, hey, no, hey, no one hey, should fucking do it. But yeah, hey, it's like. Hey, you want to know a funny night? I was out with uh, Brody one night, right? Yeah. I was out with Brody one night, and uh, we all went bowling, right? Yeah. I had a little, I had a little something with me, and it was me, Brody, and one of the other homies, you feel me? one of our other mutual homies, you know, and um. We coming back and I'm speeding because we drunk and shit, right? We get pulled over, right? We get pulled over. The police starts talking to me and I'm like, yeah, man, I was speeding because I'm just trying to get everybody back home, bro. Like we just went bowling and this, that, and the third. I'm like, I'm sorry for speeding, whatever. Boom. Watch, right? Cop goes away from the car, comes back and is like, okay, man, just, you know, everybody, you get home, get everybody home, slaves, like slow down the speed, right? Brody looked at me and was like, bruh. You snitched on yourself. I said, no, 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 no. He said, he said, he said, bro, how did you tell on yourself and get away with it? I said, bro, this, this is a Except real. Accepting accountability. No, no, this is a real tactic. I said, you have to show your humanity to motherfuckers, bro. And if you just let them know, like, they've been out with their friends and just, you know, like, it's a, it's four or five of us in a car, right? Right. Like, and on top of it, uh, it was, it wasn't even my car. It was Mac Ron's car that he left out here. Oh, wow. And then the, 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 the registration wasn't in my name. I don't even know if it had insurance. Oh wow! Yeah, but but like I said, that that white officer has been out with his friends and just tried to get everybody home before. Right. And I knew that in my drunken brain, so I just let him know. Oh, sorry, officer. I'm just trying to get everybody back home. It, mm-hmm. And he he could relate to that. Right. So then he gave me some grace, and that's why I was trying to explain to to Brody that day. It's like, bro, it's not about. Oh, yes. it's, it's about relating. Right. If, they, if they can find some humanity in what you're going through, no. they can give you some grace on what you're going through yeah. if they're not having a bad day. 
Yeah, because then on the flip side of that, they can you know start talking to you like being all nice, and then they get you talking, and then they start fucking with you like, oh, you don't mind if I search your car then? Right, oh, you don't mind if I do that? You know. So, and, and like I said, oh, we'll take you or give your breathalyzer. No, no. Yeah. But like I said, that that night. But like I said, you know, I, I get to drinking and I don't sound drunk. I'm still articulate. I, I'm not stumbling my words or none of that shit. So, like, I, you know, I did it real. I did it real smooth. And, and you know, I, I, I hit him with it before he could really, before the officer could really get up on me. I hit him with like, oh man, nah, I know I was speeding, man. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get everybody home. Like we were all out bowling. You know, I made it sound real good. Right. You know? And then he he went back. He checked. I didn't have no warrants. I didn't have no probation or nothing. And he came back. And he was like, man, slow it down. Right. You know. And, and Brody was like, bro, you stitch your stuff and you got away. I said, nah, nah, bro. I, I appealed to his humanity. And he's been out with his friends and wanted to get everybody home. Yeah. You know? I would have sat there pretending like I was asleep. Like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Okay, Spinny, I need you to answer this question for me, bro. Uh-oh. After that. What? Do you think living recklessly is exciting? Spinny, let me know. Do you think? Of course, but it's it's got consequences. But yeah, that's what that's consequences, why, man. That's we're why talk, that's about. why people do it. I think that's why people do it. It's like fuck it, let's go, let's do some fucking weird shit. Let's get shat on and speed drive drunk around and yell at my being detained to the cops while there's shit on my dick and fucking liquor in my Whoa. system and fucking How you get put shit coke on in dick? my nose. F- fucking know. someone who shat on me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was trying to do a callback, but <laughs> <laughs> but you know maybe it could get taken another way. But the uh, Smitty Smitty act like he didn't he didn't he never been through that, but he has he has he's he been shadowed. Doesn't want to talk about it. Yeah, he doesn't want to talk about it. I do it. not want to talk about it. <laughs> hey, up until that moment, I thought I wanted a girl to shit on my chest. Oh, so it was kind of like an experimental no, thing. No, for you. no, 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 no. no. It just happened. It happened, it just and then he realized. This is not for me. Oh, yeah. oh, I learned something today. Like this one, <laughs> one, one, one girl stuck a pinky in my no-no zone, and I was like, "Yeah, don't ever do that again." Yeah, no, yeah. that's yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely let it, let it very known with with uh, women I engage I let it intercourse be known with. Too. But you know I like my ass eight, so. Ah oh, yeah, see that eight, see Women try see it. I see I like my ass nine. Nine is is very close <laughs> to none. You know if you all you gotta do is, is change one vowel. All you gotta do is add an extra little bit to the eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's none. You know, and that's what my ass is. It's a nun zone. Like just, you know how nuns can't get. Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, allegedly, because yeah. I think they messing with the father on the low. The father likes, yeah, the boys. Yeah, Shh. oh, Shh. we can't say that. I don't know. It's a no snitch podcast. Don't tell anyone that the Catholic Church uh, covers up uh, priests molesting young boys. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, so 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 yeah. <laughs> so that's not snitching if everybody's saying it. No, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> you're talking too much, and you need to be answering questions oh, my bad. because you're on the What's Your Nest podcast, okay. and there's a question mark at the end of that. Why do you What's keep your scolding nest? our? We can't have guests on and just scold. Uh, and I can do whatever I want. This is my friend. I brought him. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a high five. See, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> this man is crazy. Yeah. Do, do you think re- living recklessly is, is exciting? Talk to me. Yes, absolutely. Okay, got, explain to me. I got the four kids to prove it. Thirteen, bro. If, if I start a lie, you have to go with it. Well, it's four <laughs> that I'm claiming. Okay, but what about the well, other Well, I'm not even claiming nine. all four of them because I think three of them questionable. Three questions? Bro, do you know we the have first 23 one, the and me? The third one and the fourth one. The fourth one? The fourth one? Yeah, the first one, the third one, and the fourth one. All questions. Bro, how, can't, how is it questionable? We have... We have Fucking technology. Never got them tested. Well, bro, why don't you get up on that? I don't know. Because, look, hold on, be hold on. Come to, my, come to me. Come to me. my only daughter is not my daughter? No, no. Shush, shush, shush. Oh. Come to me. Come to me. This this is one thing I want, I want y'all to know, okay? Rod's my guy. Rod's super funny and hella dramatic on the internet, right? But one thing I know about Roderick Anderson, the nigga not broke. Nigga ain't never been broke. So, bruh, why aren't you paying for these fucking tests to just figure out where you actually stand with these fucking children's? I don't want to pray. I don't want to pay for uh, 
a woman's sense of gratitude. I think that's what it is. Reckless. So, <laughs> so, so is, is recklessness exciting? I think it is, but it also scares me. Mm-hmm. Reckless, recklessness scares me on a personal level. I don't like to be reckless. I like to, I like to know everything. I like to control everything. I'm very controlling in my thought process, in my environments, and everything. So, oh, I know. I think. I, I think I lack the speed. We don't care what you think. Spencer just took a fucking dig at me. Fuck you, you know, you <laughs> fucking nice guy. Dig. You fucking <laughs> <laughs> Don't you. agree with him. Huh? You sp- you're on my side. I'm not on nobody's side. I'm I'm Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can dig at each other all you want to. <laughs> I'm Switzerland. Yep. As brazy. All right, well, fuck you then, Switzerland. I got another fucking question. What's the question? Oh, I got to drink some water. Stay hydrated. Everybody stay hydrated, man. You got to stay hydrated, man. Yeah, it's reckless to not be hydrated. Mm-hmm. So. It's reckless to, to pretend that's water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, it's a no-snitch podcast, bro. Come oh, my. <laughs> that's not snitching. <laughs> is it? Man, this man is 50 years old, man. <laughs> So, next question, <laughs> snitching at, <clears throat> I mean, uh, next question. So, the next question is, do you think that people who who weren't reckless in their younger years get more reckless in their older years? And in that same thought process, do you think people who were reckless in their younger years get less reckless as they get older? Like, you know, both sides of it. So, Rod, what do you think? Do you think people who who try to live that, you know, straight, narrow life when they're real young and they go to college and they get a degree and they do stuff and then they get wild later? And do you think that people who are hella wild and, you know, out selling drugs and fucking high and you know, doing all that yes. thing, and then as they get older, they chill out a little bit? Yes. So so explain to us why, why you I, think that. I honestly believe that... Kids that are sheltered, that don't get to experience things in life, they grow up, start getting high, and jump straight to crack. <laughs> <laughs> they do crackhead. Like you, 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 it's you true, do, actually. Yeah. I can attest uh, yeah, to Yeah, crackhead yeah. things. Crackhead things? Yes, crackhead things. They do crackhead things. Like, when you you can tell somebody that's never done nothing reckless, it's like everything's new and fun to them. It's exciting. It's, yeah. it, oh, I never got to experience this. would be like, bro, I did that at 12. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did that at twelve. Be like, oh, so you're telling me it's not fun? Be like, bro, what you think is fun? I've already like I, I I've done that. Like, I've done it so multiple now, times. I'm now done with I'm it. I'm keeping a consistent like you know what I'm saying. I I pick and choose the recklessness I want to be like going raw. Yes. <laughs> uh, smoking weed. Uh, that died out when I was fucking. 16. <laughs> started at like 10. I was like, I had a good 10 to 6 year run. Six, six, six year run on, on, yeah, on, on that good marijuana. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did all type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we did an episode on on uh, marijuana. We did a highness episode, you yeah. know? You know, so uh, everybody who's watching this, you know, go back, check out our highness episode. We had a, a highness expert on that episode. Yeah. Raj, you ever met my brother? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. We we had him on That's for the highest. That's my guy. Yeah. 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 That's man. who I call. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, see. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what he called it? What? Your neighborhood businessman. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he yeah. is a businessman. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was uh. Yeah. When I when I was yeah. But uh. <laughs> okay. So so Spinny Spinny, do you do do you think like just on the on the brim of it all? You know, yeah. on the rim. You yeah. know, like a good rim shot of it all. Uh, you know, okay. <laughs> Do you think people who who weren't reckless when they were younger get more reckless older? And do you think people who are more reckless younger get less reckless older? Talk to me. Uh, I mean, I think it depends on the person, but I think generally, yeah. And like a lot of people talk about how in like you know France and stuff, they like let the kids like have a glass of wine with dinner, and there's not as much of a crazy like party like you know teens getting alcohol poisoning as much over there as there is here you know because it's not because it's more like normalized and it's not and taboo yeah yeah so i think like kind of what rob was saying is like yeah if you're if you know you go through that when you're younger it's like okay been there done that it's like you know that's my past but you know conversely i mean i don't know 
I think some people might just be perma reckless, and some people might not be too. That's an option. It all yeah, depends yeah. if you I'm, make I'm that the, switch. The, but. There's, there's always those those fucking like you know those guys. Mm-hmm. You know you know those guys. You know. So. Yeah, I'm looking at him. <laughs> looking at him. No, I'm looking at you, Mister. Oh, I'm never no, reckless. I'm, I'm consistently <laughs> reckless. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I was up here at teenage years. I came down and was like, okay, I'm. Good. This is this, this my, how reckless I'm gonna be. I found my nest. I, I found yeah. my nest right here. Yeah, yeah. This yeah, is my yeah. nest. This is my reckless nest right here. Yours yeah. is yours is reckless right lyingness. <laughs> Yeah. Lying, lying I, recklessness. So yeah, li- this, lying this, is a form of recklessness, no, and lying so, about oh. recklessness is a form of recklessness. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get to the next question, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's really scared we're gonna bring something up. I don't, I don't right. know what's yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I think that people who don't get to do stuff, yeah, I think they're more reckless later. And I think people who get to do stuff early, they're cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so, that's what I think. Love it. I love it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's finally one thing we all agreed on. Yeah. A lot of times. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I I hate agreeing with these people, so no. No, 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 no. no. He done already agreed. You can't renege. It's over. It's over. Did you just call me a racial slur? No. I didn't call you an N word. I said you cannot (laughs) renege. That is a word. (laughs) That was my laugh. Wow, that was that was ter- that was reckless. <laughs> that yes. sound right, and he cut it off so fast, so you know it was fake. Yeah, that's like fake. That's wow, Fa- wow. wow. That laugh was fakeness. Wow. So it wasn't fake. <laughs> wow. So it wasn't fake. That, that I just, I just I was, okay. There goes the line again. <laughs> Roger, I just want to let you know that you hurt me on the inside. My insides are hurt off of the words that you said. My guy, we are friends. You don't have an inside. Damn. <laughs> wow. Do you, do you, do you, I, w- I want you to apologize to my inside parts. Yeah. With your inside voice. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm Fuck sorry. both of you guys. Roger, I got a question for you. Yes. Do you think you can help somebody not live reckless? Do you think you can come into somebody's life and, and be the reason why they don't live reckless? No. I need more than that. Explain I'm to me why not. for all the bullshit. No, no, no. But fuck you being for all the bullshit. Why do you think that you can't come into somebody's life? Are you saying you saying personally? Yes. I'm, I'm talking about generally. Generally, do you think somebody can come into somebody's life and make them less reckless? Maybe. It's going to be rocky. Maybe. That sounds like yeah. some pussy ass answer. So yes or no? De- depends on the person. Okay. Some I people, deny that some people are susceptible to, to advice and some people aren't. Some people are going to be like, man, fuck you. Yeah. And it's like, goddamn. Like, so I'm with all the bullshit. Yeah. If I, you want to try crack, I'm going to tell you to. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, go ahead. Fuck it. <laughs> are you going to try it with me? No. But no. you can. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've, I, I know. I, I feel I, like I need to take a piss, I bro. What the fuck is that? Bro, I can't be around you and have to piss, bro. You can make me piss on myself, bro. I'm saying, if you want to try crack, like, everything has a crack version of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whoa. Daredevil. Whoa. No, 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 no. Explain that statement. Like something that'll fuck up your life? No, no. You said everything has a crack version of it. Yes. What the fuck does that mean? Yes. Sex. Raw sex is crack. It will fuck up your life. Okay, okay, okay. Do another one. Do another one. Okay. Okay, do another one. Uh, 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 daredevilness. You know what I'm saying? You like swinging cars and shit. Okay, you like to, like, uh, what is it called when you like to do adventurous things? Stupid? The, no. It's called, uh, 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 you get like an adrenaline rush. I would say base jumping. Oh, yeah, like action junkies. Yeah, like, ba- yeah. base jumpers. I know base heads. I don't know base jumpers. Base jumpers, they, they, they will jump no, no, off no, no, of no, buildings. They will no, no, jump no, off no. a building I thought that was par- parkour. Parachute. I thought that was parkour. No, no parkour. it's with like a parachute. Parkour is stupid. But <laughs> <laughs> parkour, wow, bro. Hey, bro. Hey. I bring up something you call it stupid, no, bro? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> that hurts my feelings but that's, on the that's, inside. That's, that's like because you cannot trust your airbag, right? They they say it, it's like I heard airbags are, are better than fucking uh, seatbelts. Not nah, airbags. You can't trust your uh, your parachute. They say mm-hmm. it's a percentile of when it doesn't open. Yeah. And you go jump off a building. 
You know what I'm saying? Like you're it, if that parachute doesn't open, bro, you, you must got some wings on you. Like bro, bro, I, I, you must I watched, keep a Red Bull in your pocket. No, I yeah. watched this. I watched this show called The Boys, and their superheroes here to save us. I gotta see aliens first, <laughs> then I'll believe that. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> we just went from superheroes to aliens, hella fast. From crack. <laughs> from crack. <laughs> I think. Hey, and you get off acid, you'll see them all. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. We talked about that. Uh, so, so, Spinny, Spinny, mm-hmm. uh, do you think you can help somebody that to not live reckless? Do you think you can actually influence them like that? I think, yeah, but but kind of like what Rob was saying, like if you go and like, oh, don't do that, and you're giving them advice, people can sometimes take that the wrong way. But I mean, one instance that like I was like hanging out with this chick who was a. a Pretty big alcoholic, like she would freaking throw bottles, she would drive drunk, she would have a lot of issues. And then at a certain point, I was just like, "Look, I'm not gonna fuck you anymore if if you keep being <laughs> drunk like this, like being this drunk." And then and then she stopped she stopped drinking as much. No more dick. Yeah. No so, more dick. Yeah. So if you no more dick. No more dick. So it wasn't so much Chick Fil A, McDonald's, Chick Fil A. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it, it wasn't so much that I was like, "Oh, you should, you need to stop doing that." It was more like, "Hey, like, I, I'm just gonna remove myself, and if you value my presence, then, uh, then you, then don't do that." Okay, okay, and okay. then, and then that kind of like tampered. But I think, like, yeah, if you like just go with someone and like tell them to stop doing some shit, they'll, they're probably gonna tell you okay. to fuck yourself. I, I just want to say this because we started this podcast so Spinny can get laid and. Mm-hmm. If a chick is willing to give up her her, her alcoholism, she's willing up giving up being drunk for Spinny. I think you. I think everybody watching this shit fuck Spinny. Please come Why not fuck, fuck me. me. No fuck you. Fuck all of us. <laughs> no. He said fuck no. Me, no. No. <laughs> do not fuck all of us. Fuck Spinny. <laughs> fuck Rod. <laughs> they nicknamed me Raw Thing. <laughs> You know, in middle uncooked school, uncooked meat, you bro. Know, you need, you know, you need to look, relax with that uncooked meat. Look, you know, in middle school. No, I don't know. In middle school, no. Look, in middle school, <laughs> I was not doing the things you were doing in middle school. My partner used to call me raw dick, and now that in the, middle school, yes. Now that I'm older, he don't know how on the money he was. So, 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 were you, were you raw? <laughs> hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Were you raw dicking in middle school? I wasn't even getting no pussy yet. And he called you Raw Dick for just- yes, because my name is Roderick. He would take out. He would just add Raw Dick. It was like oh, Raw man. Dick. Yeah, he just called Your you Raw Dick. Raw. He'd be like Raw Dick. I'd be like, bro, what the fuck? That's gay. Now that I'm <laughs> older, with with hella kids, shit. Thirteen to be exact. <laughs> we gonna go with it, dude. I, shit, uh, strangely, I'm everybody, daddy. With twenty three and me, you know, I had a, a relative that that twenty three and me should is really snitching on people. Yeah, because I had a relative that like we my some of my relatives found a cousin that uh, they didn't know they had because like he had had a side man you chick know. and and it was like with his secretary or something. Hey and the, man, and the guy freaking raised the raised the kid and like he never the guy passed away like never knew it wasn't his kid. But then the kid found out. I'm I'm this close to using 23 and me as a bro. This close, bro. You need to be this close. You see how close this is? This is non-existent you know, closeness. This is, is this is doing I'm, it. I'm almost this close to using 23 and me as a dating app. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a damn. Okay, so we got another question. Head. Okay, so so another question. <laughs> We're gonna go with another question. Okay, and I think this is a really good question for you. Okay, Roderick, our guest. Okay, do you think people? Const- they constantly act reckless have a bigger underlining mental health issue <coughs> no <coughs> damn no <coughs> no so okay yeah, we, we thought you. people were going to hold on hold on hold on Wait, let, let him, let him, no no let fuck what he's talking about uh, we thought Jesus we thought we, we thought people were going to come on this podcast abrasive yes we thought people were going to come on this podcast and okay, be honest abrasiveness yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. If I'm using that right. Yeah. No, uh, that's I, perfect. I, I, that sounds that sounds very good. Awesome. Uh, that's his nest right there. <laughs> awesomeness? Yes, I am awesomeness. No, that's not your nest. <laughs> Abrasiveness. I just said awesome. Abrasiveness. No, no, you said awesomeness. <laughs> no, I didn't. 
You said awesome. I said that's his nest. Awesome. No, you said awesome nest. It's not no. I am awesome nest. Awesome, bro. Roger, this is my fucking podcast. Fuck you, guy. You are like a one-eyed Yoda. Because yeah. I said what is Ness, that? Awesome. You so why did you put, say it backwards? Because exactly. See Yoda. Ness <laughs> awesome. It is. Ness <laughs> awesome it is. Oh, Ness awesome it is. <laughs> so uh do, do you think people who constantly so you said no. Spinny. Same uh-huh. question to you. Uh-huh. Do you think people who constantly act reckless have a underlining mental health issue? Talk to me. Uh, d- Depends on the degree of recklessness we're talking about here. I mean, yeah. If we're talking about recklessness, bro. Recklessness. Like what kind so of reckless? Is it we're talking about recklessness. recklessness. So recklessness. Is it the same recklessness or is this different stuff? Bro, recklessness. <laughs> like, I, I feel like alcoholism is a uh, is a... Is a recklessness. I'm saying, it, yeah, that's oh, like a mental health thing, yeah. and that I mean, you guys know what wet and reckless. I'm gonna play. I already what? pulled this wet up. And re- wet and what? reckless. That that's what they freaky. call when you're if you're like driving under the influence, but you're not over the limit, but you're doing reckless shit. They call it wet and reckless. You but get you a wet do and reckless. it all the time. How the fuck can yeah. you be drinking so and driving and not o- now? not it's over a, the limit? It's a wet like, what, what type of sissy ass shit is that, bro? Like. Keep drinking. Like, like if you're, yeah, if you're not. Uh, what is that? One glass of wine? What type of pussy ass yeah, shit is that? So that's wet and reckless. I learned that. It's not what I thought it was when you, I first you, heard it. You know what wet and reckless is when I do it? It's Uh-oh. driving 80 miles per hour in the fucking uh, carpool lane with only two people and I'm getting fucking topped off. That's wet and reckless for me. I thought that's, I thought it's only supposed to be two. It's three now? The one we were just seeing was three. It's, t- it's today, Saturday, though. Monday through Friday, you are nowhere near reckless. I was behind you. I was like, this man can't go no faster. <laughs> Stop I, lying. I was going slower because you was going so tra- slow. Hey, you were so far behind me. Look, uh, uh, next question. Listen, next question. <laughs> listen, my my uh uh, what's that shit called when you put it in uh auto drive? <laughs> Bro, cruise car- control. Yes. My cruise control was on ninety. You were going thirty five, my guy. How am I going to go 35 in the fucking fast lane? I don't know. You <laughs> on the freeway. Me. I was like, I, you bro, on drugs. I, I Reckless. No, no. Somebody Reckless. got in front of us and I was like, man. Hey, somebody got between us and I was like, man, I, maybe that's not him because this is an old lady driving. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of scared. I thought I was, I, when we were pulling up here, I was like, oh my goodness. I don't think this is him. <laughs> this is like this place. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear you're not driving recklessly. Man, that's a lie. Um, so <laughs> not right now. Do I think? Do I think? Uh, people who constantly. I, I think it is an underlining mental health issue. I personally do. Mm-hmm. I personally think. I personally think that they're they're strive they're they're going they're looking for something that they probably will never obtain, which is why they keep doing the mm-hmm. reckless shit. You know, yeah. and I feel like that that's something that probably stems from their childhood or maybe just shit that they're going through. And they, they want to they need to have somebody to kind of like talk that shit out with so they can stop doing things that because when I hear reckless, I hear detrimental. Mm-hmm. So if you're doing a bunch of reckless shit, I think you're doing a bunch of shit that's detrimental to your progress. So I think that's a mental health issue that you, you probably need to kind of like mm-hmm. work out, you know, work through, you know, so. That's that's my take on it. I, I, like I said, I may be wrong. I'm not a fucking psychiatrist. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a, a fucking psych teacher. So, but that's that's my take on it. So, you know, if you don't like the way I said it, you know, suck the left side of my balls till you get right. Next question. That's it. We're out of questions. But no, the we're left not. side of your ball would be they right. This guy. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. Am I not this, am I not telling this is, this is hold on, hold on. This is why we brought this guy on for recklessness. Cause this guy, his brain is next level, bro. Cause, cause am I not he, telling the truth? He's so right, it irritates me. <laughs> it fucking takes me. <laughs> that, that that reckless ass thought process is actually kind of correct. It is correct. If I'm facing you, this is my right hand. That's yeah. my left. Yeah. Well, why are you trying to face me? And I'm talking about somebody licking the left side of my balls. If again? they're facing you. Oh, that's better. That's better. 
Just like I told, uh, one time I told um, that one girl was like, oh, they say the, the guy's favorite side is the left side of the titty, right? The titties is the left side. I was like, whether you whether it's the left or the right, you're never wrong. Because if I suck your right, if I suck your right, it's still my left. If I suck your right, it's, it's your left. <laughs> So, Rod, Rod's, What's this? Rod's a little, you that's know. That's a weapon. Rod's a little reckless. As, that as we can, a, that's a weapon. Rod's a little reckless, as we can clearly see. But uh, yeah, I'm doing some reckless shit right now. Yeah, she's about <laughs> to disconnect all the cameras. But <laughs> Look out. But, but um, this is the What's Your Nest podcast. And on the What's Your Nest podcast, we have our guests come through. And sign our What's Your Nest podcast Ciroc bottle. So, Rod, you're our guest. We want you to put your name on this joint with this pen. Oh, yeah, I'm about to do it. Maybe you should just pull it. Yeah, I'm gonna pull it. <laughs> you, are you a puller? I got a pulley. Wow, that was TMI. For no, sure. it's not. Oh, I need to, I need for, to learn for, this shit. For all the ladies <laughs> out there, I'm King Pulley. King Pilly. Uh, I got a banana clip, whatever you want to call it. I call it my extra meat. You feel me? There you go. Why do you need I'm to know that he has extra color. meat? Because, well, because I want women. Yeah. No, but Spinny said I need to know this. <laughs> I need to know all, no because he put me on the chindo. So any dude, anything, uh, any sexual knowledge he has, I want because that shit revolutionized my sex life, dude. Absolutely. You yeah. signed it. Okay, signed it. Okay. Signed. Sex yeah. is amazing. Good. When you when you learn when you when you when you have the ability to learn things rather than judge it for face value, I I do agree with that. You know, people think that certain things are reckless, and I do, I think that certain things aren't reckless. You know, and like you said, sexually, you should definitely understand and know your partner, and you should be stretching those limits because I've dealt with a lot of women, like you know, thirty and up, and when they got to me. They were like amazed by the sex they were having with me, and it was like, "Who have right. you been fucking your whole life?" They'd be like, "Ooh, you stuck it in. Ooh, you're still <laughs> hard. Ooh, you're going so long. Like, like, who have you been fucking? Like, like real talk. So, so I do agree with that. Like, sometimes you do need to get a little, little, a little reckless. Damn, am I reneging on my, what I said earlier yes, about recklessness? I told you he's a renigger. Well, dude. Wow. Whoa. That's wow. Whoa. That was close. That's a word. Whoa. <laughs> Three nigger. Whoa. It's, it's only a coincidence that you're black. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And the video got demonetized. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> no, that's not. A, that's that's an actually what actual word. Yeah, he's spelling with the e, uh, two e's. Two. It's two if e's, you're three no e's. If you're a re nigger, bro, relax no, because they, might, look, look, they really right. might demonetize us. No, we might, not, have, to, we might not, have to bleep. That's an actual word. When you I know it is, but, 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 but it's a little close. The algorithm, <laughs> the robot's gonna hear it. Oh, and I'm then not be talking like, about Yo. him being black. I'm black. I, if I can't, if I yeah. are you? Work, yeah. Huh? <laughs> I am. I'm black. Are you sure? I went to 23 and Me. No, you didn't, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I got 23 and Me. I got uh, Ancestry.com. Then people be up on my inbox. They talk about, oh, hey, we might be cuz. I'm like, God damn, she kind of cute. <laughs> hey, I hey, ain't never met Ancestry. you. Ancestry.com. Inc- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to say, I, I, seen a, I seen a post the other day that said that California is a place where you can marry your first cousin. That is the wildest shit I've ever heard. That's Wait, so what? Alabama. This is like 15th cousins, though. Bruh, but no, but that's so Alabama. We got, That's so Alabama. I've never heard. I, I never thought that California, but it was like California. Nevada wasn't on it, but it was like California, maybe Oregon. It was like Texas and a couple other places where you can marry your first cousin. And that is the wildest shit I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. I don't. I don't condone that. It's like, a free country. The thing is, I don't know because I have to th- pay for everything. The thing is, how slavery went. A lot of us might actually be cousins. Yeah, yeah. So, Rod, bro. So we we, we brought you on. We brought you on the What's Your Nest podcast for the recklessness episode because you're my guy and I know you. Yeah. And I thought this would be a, a perfect episode for you. <laughs> but um, as our appreciation for you coming on and all the value you added to us, you know, 
giving us insight on your recklessness and and how you view recklessness and just the recklessness shit that you do in life. We want to say thank you. And the way we want to say thank you is by giving you some beautiful, beautiful red Nest Culture socks. We also have a, a, a thickness sticker in there for any individual lady you might want to give that thickness sticker to. You know, I know you see, I know you like the thickness. Yeah, I do. I love it. Yeah, so so we, we gave you a thickness sticker with them I'm socks, to, you know. I'm hella about to comfortable. Wear these until they're burgundy. Hey man, they hella comfortable. I know, and I'm about to wear them until they're burgundy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the Nest Culture socks. So we want to say from Nest Culture, Alex Great, Nest Culture to you, bruh. Thank you for coming on the podcast and and being your normal hilarious fucking Roderick Anderson self. Thank you, I appreciate y'all. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, most man, dead. thanks for coming. It's good to see you. Any final thoughts to add? Any final thoughts from the yuck or anything? From uh, the th- <laughs> I feel like <laughs> be reckless. Don't care what nobody say. Be your authentic self. Uh, Everybody's going to judge you about something, especially in mm-hmm. this new age, this new era of something, whatever. Everybody's Everybody gonna has have, an opinion. Yes. Yeah, and yeah, opinions yeah. are like assholes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, Everyone's and, and got Roger them and gets they his all... licked. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> hey, <laughs> opinions hey. are like assholes and Roger hey. gets his licked. Hey, women didn't let me fart in their mouths before, so I don't care. Yes, they are nasty. And then they be like, oh, you're so much. Uh, ooh, uh. It's like, bro, like you're amazed by the by the simplest shit like i ain't even really pulled out the left right you know what i'm saying yeah the uppercut yet bitch because i i'll knock you out with the uppercut Mm -hmm. yeah like like you know you know what on on some reckless shit you know what my thing has been lately is just giving chicks horrible dick first Mm -hmm. and then like apping up as more as we get more sessions in absolutely that's not reckless that's good that's like a good business practice no no but i used to give them like good really really good dick in like the first two or three sessions yeah and now i just i just give them it's like if you don't want to come back to find out what it's really like then fuck you i give you good the first time whack the second maybe the third and then amp it up on you again like i it's just like a uh 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 uh, uh. No. you might catch me on a good night it yeah, depends yeah. on no 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 it, chicks can definitely catch me on a good night cuz cuz like like I said you know Artie was talking about situations that we yeah. Eskimo bro did yeah. and and like one of the chicks that he was talking about she I was I, I had accomplished some shit and I had went and bought I had went and bought fucking uh champagne and limeade and we had mimosas and shit and I and I, I I I fucking I went in on her I went in on her so hard because we had we 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 used to do it all the time right I went in on her so so hard that she came back to me the next day and was like what was that I said oh I was I I had finished some things that I was uh, I was proud of so you're welcome. You just caught me on a good day, and nobody was in my house. Right, other people, the people who live I live with had left, and it was like I accomplished something, and they were gone. So it was like, oh yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a splash your shit. Yeah, I'm I'm a bip your coochie. Yeah, I'm gonna take everything that. out of you. You just said I'm a bip your coochie. Yes. Yeah, yeah, bip I be city. bipping coochies. <laughs> That's breaking an ender, bro. You might have just snitched on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck R. Kelly. No, no, no. She was there. She was in the car. She was. She she wanted it. Then it's not bipping. No, she it told was... you bust it open. No, 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 no. I busted open, and she was like, "Oh my goodness, she likes this." No, no. A bip had you like, "Where's my purse?" <laughs> no, that's what she was like. She was like, oh, "Is this my pussy? Like, what are you doing to it?" <laughs> she was surprised, but she liked it. She liked the adrenaline that she got from me bipping her her Gucci. I just want everybody to be themselves. And Man, not to, yes. Not on, on, on the What's Your Nest podcast, on the What's Your Nest podcast, we one hundred percent fucking approve of everybody being themselves. You don't have to be like. You can just be you. Right. Reckless or not, right? Yes. I want everybody to be themselves because if you if everybody is themselves, then the conversations begin to get more interesting. Like because yeah. we're not all talking about the same thing. We're not all listening to the same thing. We don't all share the same opinion because we're not a hive. We're not hive minded. We're yeah, not. You're... We're not animals. We're not bees. So we don't 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And everybody's like, oh, well, if you don't think this way, then you're weird. No, you're just different. You just, I, I concur. I concur. Yep. Spinny, cue me up. Let's do this. Let's, 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 let's. Last thing to get out of here. What, okay. Anything to say to the people, the, the listeners of the What's Your Nest podcast by Alexander the Great. Okay, okay. So, uh, everybody that's watching this podcast, while you're out here doing reckless things, because we all do reckless things, man, don't act, don't act like you're above it. Don't act like you're above it, okay? None of us are above it. We all out here living and doing reckless things, okay? So while you out here living recklessly and making your reckless decisions, I want you to in that moment, because if, you, if you're willing to live recklessly in that moment, if you're willing to, to exhibit some recklessness in that moment, you're also in that moment, you better, you fucking better be choosing happiness. You better choose happiness in that exact moment because if you're willing to risk being reckless in a moment, you're willing to show recklessness in a moment, you better it better be to to exhibit your your utmost and sincerest happiness. You better choose happiness every time you choose recklessness. And 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 from Alex Gray in the What's Your Next podcast, I want you to every time you out here doing things that people think that you shouldn't, but you think that you want to and you want to do it, when you're out here doing your recklessness, always make sure that your recklessness coincides with your choose happiness. So every time you're out here living reckless and you're doing reckless things like this guy right here. Always raw dog. <laughs> hey, Spencer. <laughs> okay. I didn't want to hold say. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, no, no, shh. On. Let me finish, finish. When okay. you're out here living reckless. And you're doing reckless things like Spinny and, and Rod. Always, always, always choose happiness. Rod, take us out. I should have brought a green shirt too. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Oh, you like the, the that's is the NC uh, oh, okay. embroidered. Embroidered. Yeah, you see, you, see, you I, I thought he was shirt. using that for a reason because he was going to like edit some stuff and put them on. No, 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 on. no. He got the embroidered Nest Culture oh. shirt. Okay, I was going to say because I needed a green shirt. Cause I, if you're gonna you need a gym, nigga. If you're gonna edit something, put me a six pack. Six, bruh. He he would need he would need NASA to help you get a six pack. Shit. <laughs> Whatever, nigga. He would need M Night Shyamalan. If her name, he would he would need Cameron James Cameron to make you a six pack. I don't know who that is. The motherfucker who made Avatar. That motherfucker. Which as much CGI as he used. Which Avatar? The, All the, of them with the blue people, the blue. Uh, oh, okay, the blue yeah. people. That was a good Avatar. That other one, bro. Don't disrespect Avatar, the Airbender. The movie? Movie? No, no, no. Oh yeah, you didn't see the movie. That's why. No, 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 no. no the cartoon show is good, and then they just came out with a live action show. Yeah, the TV and, show is is is. is no, I like the live action they're show. Making up for what the movie was. Oh, the movie was horrible. The hair. Okay, oh, okay. So we agree. God. The movie was horrible, but have you seen the live action show? Yes. The live action show was pretty good. I love it. Okay, okay. They're coming out with two more seasons, too. Okay. FYI. So, uh, you know. All right. Uh, so, suck a dick, save a life. Uh, yeah, choose happiness, always raw dog. Suck, suck Rod's dick. And Spenny's. Yeah. Oh, oh sh shout, out, shout out to my peoples because uh, she, she she made that, that tagline, and I believe it, you know, and I, I live by it, you know. So, all you ladies out here, we have a lot of crime, and it's a lot of men doing this crime. If you really want to help crime, suck dick, save a life. I heard suck dick Sundays is great. I, I need Sunday, to who the fuck? Suck, suck, suck a dick that ends. Suck a dick on a day that ends in Y. Shit, how about that? Yeah, that too. Wow. Well, that was we any had, day that has day in it. Yeah, I think I think any day is bro, a good day. We don't day do for, day jokes here, bro. I said any day that has day in it. Yeah, day. Bro, not I don't gay. know, bro. I feel like that was a gay joke, bro. We don't do those type of jokes here, bro. Huh? Bro, what? we don't we don't talk about the the LGBT hey, community. Hey, I like we, the we LGBT support. community. I know you probably. probably I agree. just don't like the 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 uh, LGBT the G's. <laughs> we could be friends. Hey, bro, I'm a real G. What you mean? <laughs> Which G? <laughs> <laughs> Spinning to the side. All right, keep it G, everybody. <laughs> I like I like all G's. I like yeah. all G's. I just don't like like all G's. Yeah, I hear Recklessness. You. There we go. Okay, that's the, that's the episode. <laughs> we're we're keeping it reckless. I got my pussy with me, mm -hmm. and we'll see you next time on the What's Your Nest podcast. Later, folks. 
and we're fading out. Yeah, yeah. That was good. I'm actually a huge pussy. I've never done anything reckless in my life. Yeah, yeah. Me personally, bro, I actually do a lot of reckless shit. Like, oh, the, ca- the mic I'm is not, off now? Not, what? Uh, huh? what? Oh, no, it's not. Wait, I got to turn it off. Oh. Rock, damn. Shit. Good job, Rock. <laughs> I was could, about to say, man. You stopped from snitching on yourself. Yeah. 